Something I think that comes up a lot in a lot of these different topics we're talking about too is like the negative self-talk that comes along with, you know, not feel like being on autopilot and maybe even the negative self-talk can be an autopilot. Mm -hmm. You know, you could just autopilot into that. So how do you, like, where do you sit on the whole negative self-talk thing? Like, and how should make, could maybe people like address getting themselves to like break once they realize that they're in a cycle of negative self-talk, like breaking it so that they can transition into some, maybe, I don't know if it's positive self-talk, but yeah. Where do you sit on that? I mean, I think that, you know, we are the center of our own reality. And so it's a lot easier for us to blame ourselves and shun ourselves and think that we're the reason why our life is the way that it is. And even, you know, not addressing self-awareness, knowing that that's going to be an aspect of it. But I think it's simply, it, I think it goes back to that tracing. It's like, if we're talking negatively about ourselves, why, you know, like I know some people they want to, and I guess that's part of challenging the beliefs, but I think that there's a difference like in CBT, it's like, we'll take the negative sentence and then we'll try to find three ways, three, three other sentences that invalidate that negative sentence. And it's like, okay, but that's still really surface level, you know? Yeah. And we're never really going to, like the mind will always be able to engage in self-talk. We're not eliminating that person's ability to do that. And so if we stay surface level, then we're not really addressing what the underlying problem can be. And so it's really like, I'm not, I'm not smart. And it's like, okay, so what is smart? What's the concept of smart? Who did you learn that from? Are there any other ways to think about what smart is? Has anyone ever called you stupid? Who was that? Why would they say that? Were they called that? What was their perception of what smart is? And it's like, I mean, <laughs> I, I have a hard time even working with people one-on-one -on -one because I'm like, let's just live together for a whole week. And we'll yeah. break everything down, you know, like, I don't want to just talk to you for an hour because I want to actually solve your problems. And so that's why I created these platforms. Cause it's like, I'm just going to be here all the time, every day, constantly throwing <laughs> shit out for free to try to make a difference. And so, yeah, when it comes to self-talk, it's or negative self-talk, you have to go deeper because unless you like do s brain surgery <laughs> or like, you know, go into some type of hypnosis that like eliminates the ability for you to have ne negative self-talk, you can't cancel it out. And so you have to figure out first, learn about the process of it. Why are you doing it? And then take each negative perception and root it all the way back. Because like, you know, females that have like body image issues, for example, culture and families have been deciding what is a good female body and what's not a good female body way before whoever this woman is that's having negative self-talk about her body existed. But everything that has happened before she came to be is impacting the fact that like is causing her to give ne herself negative self-talk. And we, if we don't at least emphasize that that's a fact and we stay in the now and like exactly what's going on for her with that one specific thought, we're not actually addressing the cause of what's going on.